Hello everyone and welcome to Guild Free Mind. Today's topic of discussion is workplace toxicity. What happens, how to know the signs and what you can do if you are facing workplace toxicity. Now before I get into the video, I would like to remind you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and remember to ring the notification bell and set it to all. This way YouTube can notify you the moment the next video releases. If you are an existing subscriber, then welcome back. Now, let's get into it. Now, there are days when we don't want to go to the office. Now, it can be Mondays. There's a reason Mondays are referred to as gloomy Mondays. Now, there are other days as well. You may be sick, you may be facing some family issues, you had a fight with a friend, uh, you had a disagreement with your boss, anything like that. And that makes us feel a little bit like, um, do we really have to go today? Can I just stay home and you know work and stuff like that? But if this feeling of you know not wanting to go to work not feeling comfortable at work and you know just not being able to be yourself at your workplace if that is a constant problem then that is a sign that you're probably facing workplace toxicity this is not something that should be taken lightly this is happening a lot nowadays but it does not mean that you have to put up with it now let's first discuss what are the signs of workplace toxicity how to figure out if you really are suffering from workplace toxicity now the first sign of workplace toxicity is chronic stress we go to work every day work is something that never ends but that does not mean that you should be laying awake at night thinking about your work it shouldn't be to the point where you are constantly feeling like this heavy weight on your head work is work family is family intermixing should not happen the moment this intermixing starts happening when you bring your work home when you are constantly worried about your work you're constantly you know in a zone where you're like i have so much to do i have so much to do your your brain is completely occupied by your work if that is what's happening with you then that's a there's a high likelihood that you are facing workplace toxicity in the u.s it has been observed that over 42 percent of working people have said that they are facing chronic workplace stress it's not a good thing, it'll stress you out, it'll hamper your mental health, you may even experience burnout. If you're facing chronic stress because of your workplace, the environment, the people, the too much of work, it's a sign of toxicity. The second sign is feeling overworked. There are times we all feel overworked. The, especially during the times of closing when you know month end comes or year end comes you know financial year ends we all face that but if you're facing this overwork issue throughout the year or for a period that is longer than two months then there is a serious problem if you are overloaded with tasks that you know you cannot finish on time you try speaking to your boss that okay I am trying my level best but finishing you know all of this in the time that you have given me is not possible and your boss still rejects you and asks you to get it done within a deadline that's practically impractical then that's a sign of workplace toxicity. It sh people should be treated as people not as slaves. Being bullied something we've all experienced in most of our workplaces sometimes people forget where their boundaries are and they may go beyond their boundaries and say things that you don't want to hear being bullied is a very common issue in workplace in schools in colleges practically everywhere however in workplaces in many places employees take their you know like a, employers take their employees for granted and they may say things about your personal life say things about a Facebook post that you put up or what you put up on LinkedIn, they have no right to do so and if they are doing so then it is a sign that they are engaging in workplace toxicity. They are basically making the environment toxic for you to feel comfortable or happy in. The next point that I'm going to talk about is gossiping. We all gossip, I get that. It's fun sometimes. But if uh, someone's gossiping is hurting someone else, especially in workplace, it is not a good sign at all. It's not a stress reliever. It's not fun. It, you're hurting someone and that might be deliberate. That might be unintentional, but such activities should be refrained from. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be gossiping, gossiping about someone in your workplace. It's, it's just not right. But with more and more people engaging in workplace gossip, it's, this, this has become like a culture nowadays, but it's very, very wrong. 
and it should hi be highly discouraged. People should put up, like workplaces should take some serious actions against, you know, encouraging certain things, especially gossiping. This should be discouraged because this can lead to a very, very toxic environment and make it very difficult for someone to comfortably work. Now, the next point that I'm going to discuss is that you're you have this sixth sense inside of you that's telling you that okay something is off about the place where i'm working we all have sixth sense whether we accept it or not we all have that little voice in our head that tells us that maybe you know this is not the right environment for you if your gut is telling you something like that repeatedly please listen to it if your intuition is telling you that there is something wrong in the workplace, I'm not liking that environment, try and find out what is going on exactly. Why are you feeling that way? You might come across a few of the workplace toxicity signs, like you're either, either being bullied, you're micromanaged, you're being overworked, you're stressed out, you're having pains in your body because of your work. All of these are signs of workplace toxicity. Now, the next one that I'm going to talk about is insomnia. Granted, work pressure, I get it, but if you are constantly not being able to sleep properly at night, it is going to hamper your mental health, it's going to hamper your work schedule, it's going to hamper your physical appearance, it's going to hamper your work performance as well. You cannot really, you know, not sleep at night and still be at your 100% the next day at work. It's just not possible. So if you're facing insomnia for over a week for a few months you should look into and find why is it happening what is it that's keeping you awake at night it's most likely something to do with your workplace if you are constantly worried about you know this i have to complete this task i have to give this by tomorrow i have to finish that by day after if you are constantly feeling like this then you are being overworked and your insomnia is because of being overworked now that is something that you need to talk to your boss about microaggression that's the next point now there we all have certain biases like with me you say anything against dogs and you will see a different side to me but jokes aside in workplace people are sometimes singled out that can either be a racial discrimination a discrimination against their legacy discrimination against their color or you know features or their gender it can be any kind of discrimination now when this happens and if you are feeling that you are kind of being singled out every time then that is microaggression and that's the next sign of workplace toxicity sexual preferences ethnicity anything can be the reason behind this and if you are feeling this way then you need to dig a little deeper and confirm if it's because of any of these factors and if it is then it's microaggression. Now, the next point that I'm going to talk about is entitled attitude. Uh, it's not only, you know, we generally say that this person is such a narc, a narcissist, because that person feels entitled. Now, it's not only that people who have narcissistic personality disorder tend to behave in such a manner. A lot of times, employers behave like this too. They feel that they own the employees, and the employees are supposed to listen to everything that they say. Now, if you're feeling that you are being subjected to faulty leadership, uh, your boss is not really, you know, acting as a team leader and instead is acting as a person who has the sole authority to make all the judgments and everyone's supposed to listen to him and, you know, that kind of leadership, then that's a sign of workplace toxicity. This really shouldn't be the case. This is not the right way to treat your employees. They are also humans. They may have a better idea than you. Shutting down others for no reason is not good. Now, next point that I'm going to talk about is imbalance in your work and personal life. We all say when you leave the office, you gotta leave your work and the office and when you come home, you're not supposed to go bring your work home. But ever since COVID happened, the, you know, the line between uh, work life and personal life became very blurred out. So a lot of the time, people allowed their work life to enter their personal life, especially when they were working from home. Working from home has become a culture nowadays. A lot of people are still working from home, including me. So uh, a lot of the times, uh, work life and personal life, you know, there is literally no difference there. 
but if it's happening even when you're working from office you are not really able to keep your work in office and come home you're bringing everything home and you're working at home you're working till late hours your relationships are suffering because of your work it is another sign that you are probably facing workplace toxicity it's something you should look into next is micromanagement there are certain people who like to micromanage they feel that everything should be perfect they call themselves perfectionists but it's actually a negative trait when you've given a work to someone you should trust that person to finish the work and not micromanage okay just change this one while you're working if you're feeling that someone's hovering close to you telling you that you know this is not right okay just change that just um, um maybe switch this sentence out for something else constantly that's a sign of being micromanaged and it is another of the workplace toxicity signs. If you feel that your boss is, you know, like you're working on the system and your boss is like standing behind you and telling you, okay, okay, can you just can you just change this over here, change that over there and stuff like that, you are being micromanaged. Now, these are some of the signs of workplace toxicity. Do you think I missed out on any of the signs? If you feel so, please let me know in the comment section so that, you know, others can also, you know, relate to it. And well, coming to the part where we discuss how you can deal with workplace toxicity. First and the foremost option that you have is change your workplace. You can change your workplace, you can go somewhere else and work, but is there a guarantee that uh, you, know, you will not find the same environment over there as well? There's really no guarantee with that. So I suggest that the first way you can deal with workplace toxicity is, uh, you know, talk to your boss if that is an option if 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 because a lot of places it's not an option to you know just go and kind of politely but freely discuss with your boss that you know i am facing such problems and i need some help with sorting them out and stuff uh, sometimes that's just not an option and i get that if you have this option then i'd suggest go ahead and talk if you don't have this option then i'd suggest i I suggest that you know you check out my next video that I will be releasing next week on how to deal with workplace toxicity. What are the steps that you can take? What are the actions that you can perform to help reduce this ongoing culture, which has become very common nowadays? So uh, that's it for this video. Unfortunately, workplace toxicity is a thing. I wish it wasn't, but it is. It has led to a severe, serious increase in the levels of anxiety, depression, social phobia, and uh, you know, like pretty much 80% of the people who are at a workplace are facing problems. And 50% um, of these problems are because of toxicity in the workplace. So if you are feeling that you i'll give you a week figure out if you are facing workplace toxicity or not and in the next week i will be bringing out another video which will discuss how to deal with these issues if you are facing them at your workplace if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button please leave your comments if you think i should have included some more points in this if I, you think i missed out on anything feel free to let me know the blog post for this uh, video the blog link will be in the description section please go have a look at the blog as well if you like it please subscribe to the blog so i can notify you the moment a new blog post releases thank you so much for you know listening to this video for watching this video thank you and i will see you guys in my next video next week bye bye take care and find out if you are suffering from workplace toxicity <laughs>